Hey folks, thank you for joining us again for another exciting episode of YOMO. This is the Year of Magical Learning Podcast. And today we have uh, Reflection 347 in a brand new book. Uh, surprise. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, all right. So what were you, what you got? Excited. Uh, yeah, the book uh, today is a book called An Immense World, How Animal Senses Reveal the World Around Us by the author uh, Ed Young. And um, this is a really cool book. Uh, um, like, I mean, if you want to know, uh, here, I'll say this, this is my best summary of this book. If you, if you, if you were into like making comic books or like superheroes, if you wanted mm -hmm. to make a superhero, you should read this book because it'll tell you all the amazing things that all the other animals do and how they perceive the world and sense the world and, and all their unique little skills and traits and, and, uh, and evolutionarily, advanced selves that they do like how they navigate mm. through the world right you know how they use mm. their senses to navigate through the world so like if you were going to make a superhero just read this book and like you know listen to you know reptiles and how their skin is you know airtight and whatever or listen about how bats and sonars and elephants use infrasound you know to like you know talk to each other hundreds of miles away and whales like you know and what they do like i mean the, Super the power. That, the, Super superpowers powers, right, right. It, yes, it's yes, literally yes. these are all all this book is like like going through all the animals of the world mm -hmm. and their superpowers, and, and not just animals, insects and, you know, reptiles and, and mammals and, you know, everything around us, you know, and spiders, mm -hmm. uh, like all their, all their superpowers that they, that they have, that they've right. evolutionarily, you know, evolved to be able to do. And they Crafty. really are superpowers, right? It's, it's right. insane. Some of the stuff mm -hmm. that they, how they sense the world, right? And this is a part of the reflection is this, um, uh, um, making sense of the world around you. So how, how, um, first off, when I, I wrote, I started this reflection off by talking about, I needed this book at the time that I read this book. Like I was so deep into, it had been like a year, I feel like since I had read like an awesome book that connected me to the broader world, you know, around me, right? Like I was so entrenched in, in humanity. Um, like it was, you know, books about psychology and philosophy and, and, uh, you know, business and, you know, us basically, right. Our world, mm -hmm. right. You know, and I, I was so, you know, like locked into our world that sometimes you can get sucked down that vortex and it's fascinating. And I love, like, there's nothing more fascinating to me personally than humanity, but like connecting it to the broader world and understanding how everything is so fascinating around us, you know, is like one of those things where you, it's like your right brain needs to connect to the universe a little bit, you know, versus mm -hmm. like going down a rabbit hole in the left brain kind of thing. Right. Right. Um, and, uh, and it was a good, this was an amazing book to like pause, connect to the universe and go, Holy shit. Like, like this, there's some fucking cool things out there in this world. Right. And like the mm -hmm. stuff that they've evolved to do is just mind blowing. Right. You know? So, right. um, I mean this, I, there was, there's, um, I just actually recently read a book, uh, about two months ago called, um, life on earth by David Atter Atterborough. Um, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if you've ever heard of that guy before, but he, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, that guy's famous. Yeah. Right. Right. He's so, so this book was kind of like that. Um, uh -huh. he's like, uh, except for this one really focused d even deeper on senses, um, of how they sense the world and how they perceive it. Uh -huh. So, um, one of the coolest things about this book, uh, the reflection title is, is making sense of the world around you is this concept that this guy talked about. It's called Umvelt. Um, the, the, I think I've told you about this before, right? Yes. Like, um, yeah. yes. So, so Umvelt is, uh, um, it's a German word that was coined to describe the world as it is uniquely experienced by a particular organism, meaning like humanity's umbelt the way that we see things the way that we touch things like the way that we what we feel when we touch it the way that we communicate with each other via words and talking and understanding and language and and how we you know navigate our way through the world like that's our unique umbelt um umbelt and okay. right of how humanity sees the world and bats they use like sonar and 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 elephants use infrared you know infrasound you know and you know whales do what whales do and like they, they, we all uniquely sense the world in a way and in uh, our senses that, that interact with the world around us are are uniquely positioned like our our chemistry and our brains and how we you know what we feel and what what what's what what's painful to us or what's not painful to us right like you'll never know no matter how much you study you know alligators right you'll never know what it feels like to be an alligator and experience the world as an alligator experiences the world, right? That's what umbelt means. Um, uh, mm -hmm. That's 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 the unique way that an organism, you know, experiences the world around them. Well, this book made me think about umbelt and and how it relates to humanity. And one of the things that I think that is awesome about humanity um, is I don't think that we have. I think most animals and most organisms in this world do, do have one umbelt. Um, you know, the way that like beavers must dam, right? You know, like we talk about, right? Right. I think humans are unique in the fact that 
I don't think we have one Umvelton. Um, I think we have an infinite number of Umvelton. And I think that's one of the reasons why we're so unique as creatures is because we can kind of have agency a little bit over what our Umvelton, our purpose. I, it almost is like a word that I think is synonymous with, with purpose. You know, how you uniquely, purposely, you know, interact with the world around you, right? You know, so um, that's one of the things that I think that is the best part about being humans is how do we make sense of the world around us? We have agency to be able to kind of do that, right? You know, and uh, and I think that's super amazing. Um, but here's the trick to to humanity and our own belt and how we how we you know navigate the world. You can't understand the world until you understand yourself. You can't navigate through this world and create your unique beaver must dam until you know how you feel and what matters to you and how you want to interact with the world around you. What gives you energy? What doesn't give you energy? What, what, uh, what, how, you, you know, certain touch that you like or certain things that you see or whatever, whatever your brain chemistry is that's light, that's leading you down certain red threads. Like mm. that's your umvelton to me as humanity in a, in a way to kind of take it and turn it into a human thing. Right. You know, we, everyone has different red threads out there, but you can't understand that until you understand your red threads and then once you do that then you can use that to help navigate your way through the world and understand i want to do this and i don't want to do this or i want to do i want to interact with these people and not these people or i want to you know live in this place but not this place i want to you know like there's so many things that that, that we can take from that to make sense of the world around us if we know ourselves right so that was uh, that was the reflection for this one is like making sense of the world around you it's it's like so hard to do um, but it's not that hard to do. It's just, you have to be really in touch with yourself and get your own custom made umbel, you know? Um, uh, yeah. Anyway, love to, love to get your thoughts. Yeah. So I, I, you know, I think umvelten is, is, a, is a great word. And I think, you know, the Germans have, uh, I guess more, more accurately described words for a lot of stuff, you know, I think, <laughs> you know, uh, for some reason, kudos to them, but it reminds, uh, you know, it kind of, it kind of like, Reminds me of of a uh, you know the the I, mean, I don't know if this is true, but from what I I guess my assumption is that for a lot of animals, right, like a beaver or whatever, it's like a book, right? It does you know A B C and D and whatever. Um, for a human, I'm thinking it's analogy to a book that has options in the in the pages where hey you know uh, so when you get journey. to this and then you build your own journey and then that journey becomes your particular unique unveiling right and exactly. and, and and we human being is the only one it's still a bug right meaning right. you still have to follow your your natural tendency is whatever you you have to do you have to do the store is still there but we have the ability the add-on ability to choose like a path like you go to certain pages and say hey you know um there's there's a road to the left there's a road to the right you know which right. one you pick and you go and you you, uh, you found this um, you know some place and you saw you know a blonde woman and a brunette woman which one did you choose so so these these things are like yes it's a book still because you still have to follow who you are as that person as that right. character but this character has an, an added on ability to choose and make decisions that. Right make him uniquely his own experience because like i say you, you choose the, the blonde woman right or the two the bro your life is completely different and your experience is completely different and this is why i think human being has that particular advantage over the the animals like the beavers and the monkeys and because these guys they don't have, have one story to choose right. they yeah. say hey one yeah. story it doesn't change right it doesn't right. hang you know I, i'll go and i do this and it it's a story you have to follow from beginning to end and that is the I guess the the gene that we we're talking about the beaver must dam. Yep. We too, human being, have the the oh yeah the, the need to adhere. But on top of the adherence of our natural instinct, we also have the cognitive um, brain that allows us to say, hey, in these um in these range of things, we have the freedom to choose. And I think having that gives us the combination, like you say, it's it's you. So unique. we are we are uniquely. As a species, we are unique as a, you know, just as a beaver would have, as a monkey would have, as a fish would have. But on top of that, among the human beings, we are also unique. Yes. Because a beaver is a beaver is a beaver. But a human I, we think, is we not think. a human. I mean, I, I, we think. I don't, I don't, think. I don't, we think. You know, I don't know. But I mean, I, we, we think that that's the case. I mean, I would be shocked if there's, 
you know, well, I mean, like monkeys and other primates, you know, they have hierarchies, like they have social order, you know, so like there's, there is some but I still did. complexity there. <laughs> yeah. <I'm... laughs> Who rises to the top? All right, fair enough. All right. I don't want to, we're not going to get into that debate. But, but I think you're, you're, you're spot on. I love your, uh, your analogy of, you know, choose your own adventure book. It's uh-huh. like, that is our umvelt though, is to, ch- is to choose our own adventure. Right. You know, like, I mean that, I think that is our umvelt as humans is like, what are you going to choose? Like, you can't just not do anything. You can't just not, that is our beaver must damn, you know, is choose your own adventure. Like, even if your adventure that you chose isn't very fun, like, you know, and like, let's say you end up but as a drug addict living it, on the right? homeless, you, you chose that, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like you didn't make the decision every single day to, you know, shoot up heroin into your arm and go try it the first time. Like, I don't think that there's beavers out there that are junkies that are just laying on the side over there where everybody else is working going, like, oh, guys, <laughs> no. sorry, you know, I found this, <laughs> I I found this awesome. I don't want, sap, I don't be, you know. I don't be so damned. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to yeah. suck on this sap and then be, be in, in the psychedelics. <laughs> right, right. Uh, <laughs> Once I'm, and I'm, all yeah, and like everybody's looking over there going like, <laughs> fucking Carl, Carl, like this fucking guy. And they're, they're yelling at Carl's parents, like, don't you raise that piece of shit beaver over there? You know, <laughs> like, you know, um, any, anyway, like it, it, I think that, that is- Carl's parents say, Carl, give your ass what you doing get out of that sap you know we talked about the sap like you know stay away from that sap tree like you know uh uh, but no like it's it's i don't to to your point i think that they don't this is an important distinction for you and i because we always talk about a beaver must dam like i think that that is a simplistic way to to view all this stuff and i love that i think both of us love that because we know what we mean when we say that right but i think our unique each human beaver must dam is 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 infinite it's right the next like, you know, level of of understanding because i i told you before yeah. being with them is basically an oversimplification so yes. that if you don't understand anything else then you still at least know that hey in your life there is a strong influence of who you are and you have to obey that right you have it's to obey listen. that because you say, hey if, if you're a beaver you can't try to be a wolf because your life will be miserable Right. So that's what I'm saying is that Bible with them, it is a strong influence on your life. So, so if you are who you are, try to say, this is my tool. This is my advantage. How can I use it versus, oh, I like the other one better. It's more shinier, whatever whatever it is. Or I was told that was shinier. I was told it's better. And to me, that is the this is a mistake people make. It's like they don't obey who they are as, as the, the genes. And that tells them, hey, I got to have these and you don't provide it. I'm going to make your life miserable. And we right. do that over and over again. But the unveiling um, piece of it is the next level. Say, okay, you're beaver, but you could, but, but you also have the second piece where once you follow, once you follow the, the, the character, right? But your character has more than just, hey, I'm this person, right? Let's say you are a, you are a male, right? you are a male character, then you are looking for a female companion, like a, a, the redhead, the blonde, or the brunette, right? But you still want to uh, couple up with the opposite sex. That is your, that is your beaver must damn. You can't say, oh, I, I don't like, I don't like female. I'm going to go, you know, I'm going to go hit a goat. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? So that is outside of your, that is the beaver must damn part. But then, once you chose, hey, there's a female, but there's a there's a redhead, there's a blonde, and there's a brunette. This is where you go and you say, well, who am I? What kind of personality do I like? Who do I, who who am I? Who do I need to to couple with? Whether that's a blonde, a brunette, the, the redhead, right? So that's where you have to understand yourself a little bit more. So understand yourself as a beaver is super important. But on top of that, you have to also, also understand your particular preferences to create this un, uh, unveiling to be the maximum it can be. Because if you right. don't, like, hey, you know, you choose whatever because somebody says that, hey, you should be this or should be that, right? You're not obeying who you are as a unique uh, person. And then yeah. you you won't have the the kind of unveiling experience that you sh- would have had. Right. And that's the point of this reflection is that your unveiling in some part is controlled by who how much you know about yourself right you have to you have to figure that out like i mean like it's not like you you'll naturally navigate the world the way like okay so um 
I've talked to you a lot about like my, my competitive nature, right? Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Does that come from nurture? Does that come from nature? I don't fucking know. I don't really care. Like we can get into, whatever. it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What you feel is what you feel, right? What you feel is what you feel, right? You know? So like what I need to understand that that is something that, that brings me energy um, uh, or the other values that we've discovered that, that Amelia and I has, Amelia has helped me to discover on mm -hmm. this journey. Right. You know, don't do it alone. Right. This is one of the things I've had to say this to myself now so many times throughout this pickleball process of like, don't do it alone. Hey, reminder, Chris, like you can't do all this. stuff. You don't want to do it all alone, but you also can't do it all alone. Right. You know, like it's not fun if there's no meaningful relationships that are helping you and experiencing this with you. Right. So like, these are things that I have to know about my unique umbelton to go like, Hey, like, like this may be a human unbelton too, right? Because like we're social creatures, but at the same time, like this is a unique unbelton for me to remind myself, you know, um, like I I need you know to to have you know fun in my life and playfulness and and also you know competitiveness and balance and you know all the things that we talk about, right? These are these are the things that the words that matter to me that I can connect with my own brain to go. I know what I'm saying when I mean this, and this is how I'm going to make my decision to be on my unique journey, right? Because I want to, I want to experience as much as I can in this life, you know, um, as a human being, and enjoy the hell out of it, right? Like, I mean, why would you want to be here if you can't? I'm not saying that. Like we've talked about this too many times before. Of like, sometimes ignorance is bliss. Like, maybe beavers are just fucking on cloud nine every single goddamn day that they wake up and they're like, you know, hi ho. Like they're like fucking uh, the little dwarves. Like hi ho. Hi everything ho. everything has has you know, their own yeah. their own unique uh, advantages and disadvantages because in that when 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 let's say you know you that's what I'm saying is you know we talked about yesterday about you know you know the the presence all you have right it's all you possess. Because then you 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 talking about hey there's a million things for me to do and I'm doing all these things but you think about the perspective is from one perspective it's a negative thing but from another perspective is hey I have a healthy body right yeah. I have I the so. money right I have the ability to do this and I'm actually doing it right from that perspective is you are blessed you are so much yeah. blessed so like people say there's a rich people problem right when you when you pull you have poor people problem when you push you have free people problem when you have unlimited unbearable options that's also problem. a negative <laughs> right. <laughs> right yeah i mean right yeah i mean it really is like it, actually you, you just you just said something that uh, i've thought a lot about this idea um of rich people problems poor people problems whatever it may be like i would be hard pressed to tell it, it the, all right what i'm the gist of what i'm about ready to say is it is harder to be a homeless person by by immense amount of of work that they need to do every single day just to stay warm and get food and and you know and 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 survive right like like i i there's not amount of money in the world that you could pay me to go stand on the street in in 10 degree weather and hold up a sign for 8 hours a day i'd be like oh my god my back is fucking killing me like i want to take a nap so bad you know i i just want to go piss somewhere well, I, and i don't know where i can go to the bathroom you know like I, I I'm I'm cold. I want to get out. Of, like like I'm saying, it is hard as hell to be homeless, right? You know, um, like but, it is not well, no, easy. No, they no. work hard to be I homeless. Think, I think this is where the unveiling comes in, because uh, for me, if if you give an option, okay, you can have a house in North Korea where you're homeless in America. I would choose America all day, every day, million years, a thousand times over. Right, because thing is, you are out of your element. It depends on who you are, right? I'm a kind of person that you know these things. I can figure. I'm, I'm a creator, right? I'm a creator. I can figure out how to deal with the cold. You know, I don't have to. I mean, I can guarantee you, you can take everything away from me, throw me into a a, a an English speaking country like United States with with where they, to me, United States is uniquely. Give given to you that you cannot fail. I mean, even you're homeless, you still have like people give you food. And you right. go and ask for food, but give to you, right? I don't need to go and stand and stand in front of the sign. What I can go do something. I, I can make something. I can go to the library. It's free. I can go to the park and I can get you know whatever is free, right? Because so much options. You know, I say if you throw me in the United States as a homeless, I can probably gonna make it back to where am I right now without a problem. But I would not want to have like a million dollar in in North Korea where somebody can just you know, go in there and take away all my power at any time, right? So so yes, 
in some cases, you are out of your element. If you are a beaver, right, and you're in the, the Sahara Desert or in some country, then, yeah, you're outside the element. But if you put a beaver in a water environment, it doesn't matter, but it matter where you put them. I'm going to find ways to put the dams, right? Whether it's leaves, whether it's twigs, whether it's rocks, whatever, I'm going to find ways to do it. So the unvouching, it is who you are. So it is super important to use yourself as a compass to decide what is your choice you got to make that is going right. to fit you for who you are and give you the best, the maximum experience in life. Because that's the point of clubbing is to, to, to encourage you to explore who you right. are, right. Yeah. that you have to be, not what you want to be, because what you want to be could be, uh, you know, kind of like skew because people, you know, say things to you right. and you have unlimited, unbound options. And the unwritten option becomes confusing because, hey, is this, that, blah, yeah. blah, blah, right? Get too many options and you become paralyzed in, in choosing it. And I think this is where having a compass and understanding yourself is going to help with a lot of those uh, uncertainty. Because uncertainty is also what gives us, as human beings, the stress. Because you're talking about ignorance bliss because the beaver, he doesn't have the faculty. They don't have the faculty to think about it. So it cannot be stressed exactly. out, right? right? I'm not gonna. The beaver is not gonna think about tomorrow. I'm gonna have any trees or having the twigs or whatever to dam. Tomorrow he's not gonna think about food, or tomorrow he's not gonna think about some some lions gonna you know jump him up. And we we have the same issue. Is we don't know if we're gonna die today, tomorrow, or the next day, but right. we think we do, and we think we have control over the future, and we think about the future. Hey, you know, I got a million things to do. I got to do all these things. So tomorrow. I will have this pickleball club. I will have a bunch of blah, 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 right? Whatever you worry about, chances are it's not going to come like the way you think it is. It's going to be different. It could be, hey, it could transform into something you like or something you may not like. Right. Regardless of how it transforms, it is not going to be like you, how you thought it would be. And so, so uh, these, these abilities is both a curse and a blessing. And everything yeah. else is. I mean, it doesn't matter. But having... Having using yourself as a compass gives you some some uh, ease in handling and making sense of the world. And you know, it, it's a, a great reflection. You say, you know, making sense of the world. But how do you do that? Do that by assessing the kind of person you are. What's given to you as your yeah, as your gene as your DNA dictates. What do they need? Satisfy those needs, and you will have the unwelcome. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, agreed. Um, I mean, you, it's like your own custom unbelt, you know? I mean, like it's, you, beavers don't get custom unbeltons. They get one unbelt, you know? Like we do. Like we can have a custom unbelt and like that's pretty freaking cool. Like, so I is, mean, it, like is, is, is it an advantage, but it's also a disadvantage because if you don't is, know yeah. how, to, how to structure that well, unbelt, then... I think that's when people, I mean, this is why I keep saying the word purpose when I think of unbelt because I think this is a lot to do with humanity you know, I think everybody uniquely knows they have a unique unbelton, right? But then they're like, how do I figure that out? And if they don't figure it out, they feel, you feel lost, you know, like you feel like you're purposeless. You feel like you're, you're, you're unbelton, you're, you're not experiencing the world as it should be experienced by you uniquely, mm -hmm. right? You know, and, and when you feel that way, it hurts a lot. It was pain. It's painful to not, to not be, you know, you're um, to not experience your unbelton in the world, right? Like, and and I'm not saying that it's like mental you know, some... anguish is probably the the worst pain you can ever have. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's a mental anguish. I mean, the thing is, you, you yeah. self, I mean, self sabotage. You, you, you know, you can have physical body pain, but you can just you know take one of those blockers and you don't feel nothing. But right, mental anguish, there's no cure for it. But mental anguish is self inflicted. It is. I mean, and and that's that's the. This, this is what you said, like the blessing and the curse of this problem, right? Like we were evolutionarily gifted mental anguish, right? Like, you know, like, I, I don't know why we have it. Like, uh, what? Uh, clearly the reason is, is because we probably, it probably spurs us to, to go find our own unique unbelton and go build. Because then we are, probably, know. probably wouldn't have survived. Right, exactly. Without, my, without, the, without this, this, this ability to find the right path, you know, to worry about the future. Right, because uh, we're talking about so many species that has more advantages than us. So many, even the Neanderthals is bigger, oh, I, stronger, I, smarter. Bats and, are and... clearly better than us. I mean, bats are one hundred. They're like a third of all the mammals in this world are bat species, right? Like, they're, uh -huh. they're, 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 they're bats are winning. You know, the game. You know, in terms of like 
like the skills that they've acquired, flying, so on. I mean, you know, and like, they uh, become they they become predators, and and we become one of the 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 food sources that we become extinct. This is why we have to have it. And right. like I say, they anything you have is an advantage and disadvantage. I say, hey, give somebody a gun, right? Give somebody a sword, right? You can. I mean, I don't need to explain to you that anymore about give somebody a sword. Well, you can defend on you. <laughs> that sword can kill you. So same thing with the gun. So everything. It's both a a strength and a weakness. It's both a curse and a blessing, right? So so you 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 have to you have to figure out okay how do I make it more of a blessing than a curse? Right. It's never going to be perfect. I mean, it's always a it's always a journey. But that's a choice because because that's what we are given. We have to give him that choice, and we are given the 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 uh, the uh, the frontal uh, cortex, the frontal the the front forebrain for that. Right. To, well, I get, to just, I, to, just I get, to, to analyze that. Do you ever get the impression that like bats or beavers or every other animal, a mammal or even animal in this world is just like in a 24 seven state of flow state, you know, like they're like, they know what they're doing and they're enjoying doing what they're doing. And then like, then there's us over there where we're like, dope, 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 you know, like, <laughs> what, 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 what do I want to do today? You know, uh, like, I mean, I could do anything, but like, what I mean, do you, I you want ta- to You're talking about re- uh, Rudolph's yeah. red-nosed yeah. reindeer, right? You got a red nose, oh, people can laugh at you. You got Dumbo with the, with the elephant ears, <laughs> and then he strip over his ears, like, Doo-doo-doo. but he can fly. <laughs> right, right. He's figured it out. I mean, like, they, I feel like they're just, you know, in a 24 24- like, it, that's one of the things that makes animated movies so funny is we give them human characteristics and we're like, mm-hmm. it's so funny to see a dog with with you know you know racked with emotion of what are they going to do today or tomorrow you know what i mean like when you when you extrapolate like donkey on on shrek you know like you know like when you give them a human voice and a human choice and a human unveiled and you're like no no no, a donkey just is going to be a donkey like you know like yeah. that's <laughs> like that's what a donkey's going to do you know um uh, like there is a need to be that but when you give them that agency that's when it becomes really funny because you're like well a donkey's just supposed to do this but then you know now they're now they're doing all this other stuff and they're 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 trying to figure it out as well it's fun fucking complicated is the point but right you got it you got to figure it out all right i know you got to go um uh that was a fun midday yomo and uh uh question we can leave for everybody is have you figured out your inner envelopment yet and um if you haven't you probably figure that out figure uh, it out <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, all right awesome. sounds good thanks for joining see you See you, buddy.